Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at this. This is the Siren V4 by Digiflavor. Now I've got a brand new one here and we're going to open that up and uh, show you what's in the box. Uh, this is the one that I've been using for the past week and a half, but um, here we go. Now please bear in mind that this is a sample that I have here. I hope that the, the retail version will be much the same, but um, why they sent me two the same colour? Why did they send me two the same colour? It's always better if I can show you off more than one, but uh, there are other colours available and I think I have an image here somewhere. Underneath the tray you'll find a manual that doesn't really cover much of anything, but uh, there you go, and a little box that will contain the following goodies. A little tool, uh, some spare o-rings and post screws. You will also get this, which is another drip tip, because the one that comes on it out the box is, well, you saw it, it's, it's massive. But uh, we'll talk about the drip tips in a bit. You get some coils for a mouth to lung setup. So you get two coils and uh, so two pieces of cotton. And you also get another couple of coils. So uh, yeah. That's a, a fair bit to get you started. I will also show you this uh, because Digiflavor were good enough to send it on so it would have been rude if I didn't but uh, it looks like they are doing their own coils as well now and uh, yeah there's a fair old selection. I have no idea what the retail is going to be in them. Uh, I have used a couple of these their own coils in the other tank that I've been vaping with and I've, I've no real issue with them to be honest but it's not anything that I've put through some serious testing but I thought I would show them off anyway. So we'll start with the drip tips. Uh, they're, they're some kind of plastic but uh, the bore on them, they're, I mean it's just about between 3, 3.5 millimeter bore on these so yeah this is primarily for mouth to lung these guys. I, I do actually like vaping with this one. It does cool the vape down a little bit because of the length but uh, for mouth to lung I quite enjoy it and uh, yeah just standard 510 drip tips really. The tank is it's a 22 millimeter tank 22 millimeter and it is about 28.5 millimeters in height not including the 510 drip tip but up to here and uh, once again I'll just show you that in the base you can see that's going to be a gold plated brass positive pin that sticks out quite nicely there. Uh, up the top we have this piece, if I just unscrew this, there we go, there's how you fill her, through there. Uh, there is, it's, it's not big chunky thick threads but uh, I don't really have, I'm not going to complain about it because it threads on there no problem. You've got a nice little bit of knurling going on so it's easy to get a hold of. I haven't found that it binds or locks up so yeah it, it works no problem. The logo on the front is, um, I'm not going to talk about logos, uh, I have no ground to stand on there but it's, it's, it kind of takes away from the tank for me. It's not my kind of styling I think it would have been really nice without it or if it was engraved instead but uh, we've got our tank our view window through here which is not the easiest to see the juice level through I'm afraid it holds two milliliters of juice and down below there we have our airflow ring which just turns like that so here right off the scale there is as tight as it will go other way and that's as open as it will go. It is actually easy enough to take this off just so I can show you the air holes underneath here. Uh, if when I say it's easy enough, yeah, there we go. So there we go, there, there's your air holes. Tiny little things. Trying to get a caliper on them and I think they're only about, they can only be about 0 0.6, 0 0.7, I think. There's nothing stated anywhere but that's how small these air holes are and you can close it right down to as tight as you want. Uh, to get the deck out we just unscrew here and there we go you can see the chimney inside there once again the chimney is nice and you know it's got a really narrow bore going on there but it kind of like goes straight into the drip tip and uh, you do have a little bit of a dome going on at the top um, and yes uh, can we get the tank out of here to be honest I have tried <laughs> I've tried I don't know if it's threaded on there I've tried vape grips on it I've tried rubber bands and and I can't get that to unthread uh, I, I really can't so 
it, it must be threaded. It must be. If anybody has any ideas, please leave a comment in the, the YouTube video. Uh, but uh, don't judge me just because I couldn't get it to bits. And I can break most things. Now, as far as the deck goes, there's nothing, you know, that's majorly different to what we've seen before. Uh, we've got this like little colander affair going on here. You know, we've got lots of holes going on in here. Uh, they've not gone for inserts or anything like that. The airflow is controlled from the outside and it's always like this in here. Uh, we have three holes on either side, just wicks down in here like a GTA style. And we've got a two post affair here with, uh, yeah, we've got gold plated screws and that is about it. One thing I would have liked, because it's predominantly a mouth to lung tank, is you know how you sometimes you get a drop, little groove cut out here, so that you know your thinner wires will drop in there and they don't get spat out, you know they've got somewhere to sit in. I would have preferred that on here. And, and these screws, I mean it's like a turn and a half uh, and you know they're backed up as far as they can go. So yeah, not a lot of threading going on in these screws here. Now I'm using one of the smaller coils that they provide and remember I was just mentioned not having anywhere to trap the coil that's the screw right down and see it, it's it's far too easy I can get the this thin wire on the wrong side of the actual screw so that that's a bit of a foo part on their part I mean if you're going to do a mouth to lung tank you shouldn't have that big a gap on side of that screw there just shouldn't happen don't get me wrong, you can still, you know, I can get my wire trapped under there, but uh, yeah, once again, uh, th there shouldn't be as big a gap on that side of the, the, you know, the screw. It's not a complicated one to wick either. I mean, I just cut my cotton to the outside edge here, and then we're just going to fire her down into the well. And you want the, the tails of your cotton to sit in the base, and that way it'll, it just wicks better that way. Don't put big massive clumps in there. I'm using a six milligram 50-50 from Steam Island here, which is my preferred mouth to lung juice. Um, I have used a heavy VG in the, the other one that I've been using and, and it did wick, it wicked okay. Give it a little fire, there we go. And that's just at nine watts. This is a two mil ID coil and it's coming out at 1.1 ohm just now. Let's create my tank back on here down she goes. I wish I knew if that came off. I just can't get it to bits. Uh, but we'll pour some juice in here and then we'll go for a vape. Now for those of you that are YouTube patrons you would have seen the live unboxing for this and you would know that I was pleasantly play, play, bleh, it's very hot in here pleasantly surprised uh, by one the draw on this uh, and two the flavour and to be fair in the time I've had this and using it that opinion has not changed. I mean, I am at the lowest set, n the red dot, remember how there's the guide there where the dot slides backwards and forwards? So I'm still on the the scale, if you like. I've not taken it down as far off that scale, as low as it'll go. I'm still on the scale, so I'm at the lowest indicated draw on this device. I'm only at 10 watts and I'm on a, a 1.14 ohm coil. Uh, so one of their own coils I hasten to add. Add. That's really good. That's a really good one mil mouth to lung draw. It is. There's no two ways about it. I, I I'll, yeah, I, I would put this up against flavour-wise against many of my Ladida tanks that I own. Uh, I do like the flavour from this at a one mil draw. Now here we go. This is where it all gets a bit strange. I can't adjust the airflow with the device on uh, with the tank on a mod because it's only this bit. Screw this down onto a mod means that you can no longer spin the adjustment, which kind of bugs me. Uh, so I'm going to take this, um, I'm not sure if you'll see that, right down as low as it'll go and I think that's actually meant to be closed, but I'm still getting air through it and we'll, we'll, we'll see what it's like. Well, I know what it's like, but here we go.
that's 0 0.8, 0 0.7 kind of territory for me and maybe it's supposed to be closed in that position but I really really like the mouth to lung from in that position it's Not bad at all. Uh, there's, you got to remember that there's, there's not a lot of air going through that, so you got to be kind of careful. Don't cook it for too long, you know, because there's no air going. The, the tank isn't getting hot or anything. I just think it's something worth pointing out. Now turning the airflow all the way up, and it's that's a restricted direct lung. Uh, that actually, I'm actually going to change this drip tip out to one of my own drip tips. This is actually a Dwarf Direct Lung drip tip that I've put on here just now. That is quite a, a nice looking setup, that. Uh, and... That's, uh, yeah, that loses all the flavour. Obviously with that tiny wee coil, uh, you can put a 2.5mm ID complex coil in here and you can ramp the wattage up a bit and you can do restricted direct lung. <sighs> here we've got the strange thing, okay? We've been here before. Um, the hole under the coil should be the size that dictates whether it's mouth to lung, restricted direct lung, direct lung and the air coming from the outside uh, doesn't really matter. It's it's what's underneath the coil or hitting the coil. That's always been the train of thought over the years and I've been proven wrong a few times on that one because I have come across tanks where it's not worked that way, it's worked this way and, it, and it, they do work and this is one of the ones that for whatever reason does work. Um, I would never have said to you, you're normally in, in pub conversation uh, for sitting down getting hammered, talking about tanks. Don't like talking about vaping in pubs, but anyway, uh, you would say this wouldn't work, but it does. And as a, a, a one mil, I would say 0 0.8, to 1.2, that kind of mouth to lung kind of range, I think it works really well. I prefer this mouth to lung compared to its more open draw, but filling mechanism works fine. It, it bugs me that uh, I can't figure out how to get the tank to bits. I'm scared I'm going to break it. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the big logo on it. Um, the drip tips that come with it work really well. The really long one is very, very comfortable and looks rather strange, but takes me back to the old days. Um, I, I wish I could adjust the airflow without having to take it off the tank. That does my head in. Filling it's dead easy, but it, it, it's, it's 25, 30 pounds this thing costs. You get four coils and all the cotton wool, two drip tips, and 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 I know, I know that there will be mouth to lung vapors out there screaming going, that's not how it works and it's not a true mouth to lung. But for me, I enjoy the vape from this a great deal. And, and take from that what you will. Uh, as always, I would say, go and check the Facebook groups, go on the forums, go and see what other reviewers are saying and and, and take it from there. But <laughs> I really like the vape from this and it does have some cons, but overall, if I was spending 25, 30 pound on this and it vaped like that, I would be extremely happy. Uh, obviously for some people, the two mil capacity is always a drawback, but for a mouth to lung tank, it doesn't bother me at all because I'm vaping at 10 watts. But thank you to Digiflavor for sending this on and thank you to you guys as always for watching and until next time, bye for now.